Hello everyone and welcome. Once again, I'm your host, Dan Joe McCraps, here on the Farts and Craps Show, and I have an infinity shot, so the reason don't don't go please. The reason um I'm making this video is just real quick, I wanted to point out something that I believe was changed in a recent version of this program, uh, Streamlabs OBS. Um, so this is now program version 0.9.7. had to change my scaling to uh, make sure everything was nice and legible. Um, so I was having this issue on my Twitch scene for, for um, here in uh, Slobs, as they call it but not my recording scene. And I wasn't sure why. I thought it was, because I use an Elgato HD 60S because I love it. The thing works amazingly well. And um, not an ad, by the way. I'm just happy consumer. Happy customer, not a promotion thing. Um, so it was... It, it, the thing that happened was weird. It was a duplicate audio... Like, it was a feedback loop, so instead of picking up one kind of stereo feed of uh, one signal, one audio signal from my microphone, it was picking up two. Like, the one that I asked it to record or stream, and another one from somewhere else. So, it turns out the reason why is because you no longer have to have your, um audio as a source over here so back in the day you kind of did like not too long ago in OBS and Streamlabs OBS um, either that or I'm just memory re recalling incorrectly which is possible but as you can see the only source I have right now is my display capture um, I don't even have to have my the audio for my um, my game capture because I can see it on my TV. You guys can't see it, um, but the signal is being sent in through the audio input because I have a mixer that I use, so I could potentially just use my consoles to play music <laughs> while I do these, um, as long as you know. It's not music that's going to get, you know, have problems with the original writers and all that stuff. And of course, I wouldn't use, you know, you know what I mean. But Square Enix is cool. They know I love them, I guess. Um, they should. I, I play all their fucking games and bought <laughs> kind of so much fucking... I've given you guys so much money in the past, come on. Like, everything I earned. Um... Also, can I have some Moogle plushies? And Anyways, um, so you may have been like me and you were like, oh, well, this problem might be in my sounds, you know, which, you know, good idea. That's a very good idea. Or you might try the troubleshooter. Also, solid idea. Um, and I went to recording and everything, even when everything was disabled, I was still having this issue. Like, the microphone for my USB audio codec was the only input, yet it was still duplicating it. Um, so yeah, I did narrow it down, and it is the duplicate source thing. So if you have uh, your mic capture down here, and your mic slash auxiliary in your mixer, just go ahead and get rid of that source. Um, and also, I did not know this was here for the longest time, but as you can see, I'm in the editor tab right now. And in Streamlabs OBS, not only do you have night mode, which is awesome. I'm going to turn it off real quick for you photosensitive people, just to let you know. Everything that's dark is going to go to kind of white real quick. So just to show you the difference, how much nicer this is. Yeah, that's pretty bad, right? so much better because um, I do have photosensitivity um, visual photosensitivity not the epileptic kind but the kind that causes light sensitive migraines 
So I love shit like this. Um, but down here in this little gear on your mixer kind of panel, go ahead and click that. And you will see it is the advanced audio settings. Um, this tab used to be up in the toolbar on regular OBS. Um, but this is actually where I found out by going into here that I had two microphone inputs. Um, and then, of course, if you're only using like two track recording, like I don't know anybody that uses this for six track recording, maybe for actual. The only application I can think of is like music recordings that you want to do, but I don't know anybody that uses OBS for that. I guess you could, but it just doesn't have all the tools for that, you know? It's not very... It's not like um, Audacity in that sense, where it's like made just for audio. Um, and yeah, and I noticed also you cannot... Watch, you can't... Um, do... See? Past 100%. You used to be able to. In regular OBS, I think you still can. But, um, yeah, I think that's everything. Um, so I hope you guys found this useful. If you guys didn't know about that advanced audio settings thing, it's no longer up here, it is down here. And if you're having that duplicate issue, where it's just like your microphone seems like it's way too hot, according to down here, because it was like going up to clipping and I had to like turn it down on the mixer like super far and I was like it's still spiking like really fast um you might have duplicate audio so um yeah so uh, hope you guys found this useful if you're um tired of sounding like really tinny or kind of like almost like you're talking through in like um a small metal room that's kind of how it sounds to me. Um, yeah, that may be a problem. Um, so, yeah, that's all I did. Just go ahead and remove the audio source in your sources. If you have a microphone source right here uh, that you're using for vocals. Um, and that should clear up the issue. So, anyways, thank you guys for stopping in. Um, and that's pretty much all I got for now. If you guys uh, liked what you saw here, um, sorry, this is a little bit of a one-off. I don't usually do these kind of videos, um, but we have going on 700 videos now as of this time of recording um, going into August of 2018. So we have lots of different content to watch. It's pretty much all gaming content. Um, but yeah, I like to play video games, obviously, playing some Final Fantasy IV music in the background. And um, if you guys want to hear more of this awesome music, uh, maybe check out one of my Final Fantasy playthroughs. Um, this is actually Final Fantasy IV The Complete Collection on the PSP, and it has the original BGMs from the um, Super Nintendo version of the game. And it has the new arrangements. Um, and if you guys want me to do... Well, actually, I already did one of those. Uh, if you guys are curious about how that works out. Um, like, what is special about that edition of the game. Um, I would recommend watching my first video for the said game. Final Fantasy IV The Complete Collection. Because I kind of do a rundown of everything it includes... Um, and what you can access from the beginning and what you have to unlock and shit like that. So anyways, thank you guys for stopping by. Hope you all have a magical day. I'll catch you later.